architecture is not only about buildings, it's not necessarily about the creation of one object, but it's really about that sort of symphony of many elements that create the environment we all occupy. Architecture is a complex process. I always say it is not about a sudden inspiration or about coming up with a brilliant idea, you know. It's really about studying very thoroughly many, many layers that inform the project and allowing slowly to emerge the best solution. 2000 Ocean is a very particular project in a very unique location. It's right on one of the very beautiful beaches in southern Florida. And I was very surprised by how narrow the land is in that part of the peninsula and also about how prominent this building would be. It's almost sort of like on top of the ocean. The building itself or the project itself has given us the opportunity to explore that connectivity between water and water, water and land, you know, and the big opportunities for views both from the inside out and from the outside into the project that were being offered to us with this very unique location. In this case, nature is water, sand, vegetation, but it's, it's also light, it's also sun, it's also sky, you know, it's also comfort for the people. I don't think we've ever worked on a project that had all of these conditions. Where else can you have this expansive horizon line of the water and at the same moment be connected to this lush elevated landscape and views back to the city? Those kinds of juxtapositions just don't happen you know, in any other place. Given that the vision is about connecting you to the landscape, then the choice of materials was to reinforce that. We use what we think is the appropriate materials for every solution and for every particular condition. We think in this case, glass becomes very appropriate. Glass is one of the materials that has had enormous advances technologically. What we used to know as glass 100 years ago, it's completely different. And now glass can act differently to different conditions. You know, glass obviously allows us to a very literal transparency, but glass can also be very protective. The palette of glass is enormous. What we have here on the table are basically the materials identifying the apartments themselves. You know, and as you see, it's always a very simple palette, a very natural palette, and we use the materials the way they are. You know, and we use the materials because of what they are. Minotti and Minotti Cucine bring absolute sophistication to this beachfront living. All of the materials were chosen for their warmth, for their luminosity, for the natural. Because they have such a strong knowledge about stone, when you walk into these kitchens, you don't see a kitchen. You see the beautifully sculpted island, and then you see the backdrop floor to ceiling of the warm wood. The amenities are a series of services where people would be able to gather, to party, to be alone, to be in groups. So there is different swimming pools for different age peoples with different conditions of privacy. There's a very, very unique spa. There are different gardens. So it's been a very sort of holistic way of understanding both the public spaces of the building and the very unique private apartments that people would be occupying. Right away, it was our intention to bring this dunescape into our project and make it part of the project. You want to take these elements, you see the sand, you see the colors, you see the blues of the ocean, and you want to bring this all into your design. We captured this element of framing the entry drives through evergreen hedges, and they create this kind of tunnel effect. Everything flows out into the landscape, and so people, you know, they're completely immersed with the landscape and then, you know, have these dramatic views to the ocean. To live at 2000 Ocean means to wake up to the sunrise, to be on a terrace with no boundaries, you know, with no obstructions to look over uh, the waterfront, to walk through your private unit, never losing sight of the skyline beyond, 
and retire at the end of the day overlooking a lush garden. It's about living with a meaningful connection to the landscape and you know, having the best of both worlds.